All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, chill, chill with my boy right here, man. Chill with my boy Abraham. And uh, we got Colton over here. He's on the phone right now. We got Eli behind the camera. Now, where we're at is Shields, boys. If you guys don't know about Shields, you're going to get a little quick B-roll of Shields, and then we're going to get on the water. Now, we don't have too much time. We have about three to four hours to get on the bite. Uh, the wind is picking up, and it's just one of those days that fishing on the bank can be good. There's no point on getting on the boat, no point in getting on the kayak. Let's just fish on the bank, see what we can do, pick up some gear, go real light today, and hit some pond hopping. Love you guys so much. Please like and subscribe if you guys like this content. If you like Eli's new, you know, uh, style of videography, just let me know down below. Palm boys right here, palm boys right here. Love you guys. Let's go check out what Shields is all about. All right, guys, so as soon as you come to the Shields, they have this huge aquarium. Now, there are certain days where the guy comes and actually cleans out the aquarium, and he's inside of here with scuba gear, coming through this whole entire place, just cleaning it out. It's super cool. Eli, I don't know if you can get um, a close-up on some of these fish, but oh my gosh, like, look at this, man. Look at the colors on that. That is absolutely insane. And then look at this guy. <laughs> Gorgeous. Now, as a bass fisherman, I have no idea what any of these fish really are, but I mean, you've seen some of them off of like Finding Nemo, right? Like a lot of these guys are over here and there's actually a school of them that roll together, but I don't know if they're rolling together right now. But let's not get in these people where we're gonna keep walking through and try not to make anybody uncomfortable. <laughs> a ginormous Ferris wheel, like unreal. I don't think you've ever seen a Ferris wheel inside of a store before. And if you have, um let me know because shields i feel like really has it on lock um the really cool thing is little man can get on here as well you buy these little tokens and then you come over here and you give them like these little cool tokens we might get a close up of that a little bit later but this is just so cool man me and little man got on it and you can actually see the entire store from the top super cool thing that they put in the store and it's just something that the kids can do um you know after a crazy day in the store it's something that can keep them calm or keep them excited about being good in the store right super cool yeah, okay. and then you get your workout here with these steps bro like <laughs> it's not a joke by the time i get to the top i'll be out of breath <laughs> oh another cool thing i don't think people have seen this but he actually starts talking i don't know what gets the way him i look at it we are in the people business it doesn't matter if you're in baseball banking or the cattle business people want to be treated with respect and i always treat people the way i want to be treated that is cool, man. That is super <laughs> cool, man. I, I've just never seen anything like that, like in my city, period. So it's cool to have a place like this that they change around a lot and you can bring little man and he can just have a full on day here while I go spend a lot of money on fishing gear. Okay. I'm going to have to check this bad boy out real quick. $3 a play. Let's see. The odds aren't too bad. What are these like? Five bucks a lure? Yeah. See if we can play a game real quick. Decline? Oh, yeah. Hey, but, uh, <laughs> cut. <laughs> All right, bud. See what we got here. I'm not taking my car, bro. I told you fishing ain't paying that much lately, so we back to the ones. All right, let's go, bro. Let's see what we can do real quick. Oh, yeah. We're in. All right, what should I go for? I it's too easy, bro. Hey, 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 hey. <coughs> That was close, that was close. Do we get more time? Oh, we got 12, it says 12 seconds, or is that just one try? Oh, you get one credit. Oh, man, well, there goes three bucks. <laughs> See, you already start spending money as soon as you walk in here. <laughs> We're gonna make this short, simple, and quick, so. I just need a spinning rod and a bait caster, and probably, what else? I mean, he's gonna get spinning. Tell him about what you believe in these, spin, these spinners. Spinners, there's nothing much to fishing. See, people overthink a lot when it comes to fishing. If the fish are hungry, they're gonna eat. I always like spinners personally. I'm always been reliable, usually always catch a fish. So if you're having a tough day on the water, you should definitely try to throw a spinner bait. All right, guys, so we're definitely gonna need some lipless crankbaits. Um, this is just gonna be a stellar bait all year long. I mean, I don't see a time of the year where you can't throw this. You just change the way that you, you know, reel it. 
and um, use it. So you can be yo-yoing it, you can reel it fast, you can pause it or you can reel it slow. All year long, you're gonna be able to use these bad boys. So uh, there's a thud in the Quake. I just really trust what Sixth Sense does with their liplesses. Um, they've never skimped on quality and I truly believe that this is just one of my confidence baits when I'm out on ponds or searching for bass uh, around my city. So I'm gonna be throwing this bad boy around today uh, in multiple colors, so. oh. That's the time, bro. We got to move. See, that's like, hey, you're spending too much money. Go, get out. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we're going to make this quick. So I'm going to grab some different colors and then we're just going to get out of here. I need to go get a reel, spinning reel, and we're out. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me. Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me. Money moving, got it in the market. Bro, we're just like stacking up <laughs> stuff. This is ridiculous. But I love it though, right? Because it, it, this is all stuff that you need and it's all high quality stuff. So. Yes, sir. All right, man, I might need some help. What should I get for the uh, spinning rod, Eli? Now save me on my pockets. I can see in your eyes right now you are thinking. We are deep right now, buddy. We were not supposed to have a basket, so. Let's actually just test out their um, spinning rod. Now, as I get more into bass fishing, I'm not scared to try out less um, expensive rods. And I just feel like you don't need to spend the big bucks all the time. So this year I'm going to focus on kind of dialing in um, lures and things that actually work and not just overpriced, right? So let's just see what this bad boy does today. It's 69 bucks, man. It's a great price. It feels light, seems comfortable. I love the wood tip, really classic. Um, I love the, what is this, wood cork or yeah, what is it, cork? cork. Ooh, I love cork. the cork. It's just really nice and neat. Um, and let's just see what it does, man. And they also have a three year warranty, guys. That is extremely important for a pond hopping guy like me. I go through rods like crazy and the warranty has to be good. So let's just check out this Shields rod. I do have a couple of six inch rods that I wanna show you as well. But we're gonna check out this bad boy today. Let's get out of here. We've already spent too much money. We got the basket. We were not supposed to get the basket, but uh, let's go. Well, we definitely spent way more money than we should have. We were here with a $50 budget and we left with $115, but I have no shame. Like everything in this bag is stuff that we're gonna use. We'll tie pretty much everything on today and give it a try. And if that doesn't work, I'll give you some tips on what's working around your area. So if it doesn't work out today, we're gonna hit it tomorrow. And if it doesn't work out tomorrow, we'll hit it until it does work out because we never stop, right? Let's go. We got Colton right here. He got him some stuff as well. Hey, you always gotta stay hydrated. This is the key to fishing. If you are hungry, or thirsty, odds are you're probably not gonna A, either have a fun time fishing, or B, not do good. Always stay hydrated, especially on a hot Texas day or wherever you're at. Keep water in your body, keep something in your body. Oh, and one last thing, guys. This video is gonna have chapters. So you can actually go through at the bottom of the video and choose where you wanna start at. And right now, this is gonna be chapter one. Going to Shields, checking it out, seeing what Shields is all about, buying some gear. Chapter two will be finding the pond, Chapter three will be, you know, fishing and seeing if we can catch some fish. And then chapter four will be outro. So you guys can skip through if you feel like, you know, you're getting kind of bored of the first video. Let me know down in the comments more of what you want and more of what you don't want. It really will help us make better content for you guys. Cut you off, but they right here. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that, son? Oh, my golly. I'm so glad I was recording on my chest. Dude, that fish darted out of the grass to eat my lure. Whoa, bro. I don't know if he'll come back, but that was, uh, that was intense. Holy cow. I haven't bank fished in so long, bro. <laughs> this gets you so excited. There's this little piece of grass right here, so. Pretty much this whole corner is just like a, a nice little grass spot. And I'm throwing a Texas rig with a light weight out there 
and uh, letting it come in and out of this grass. I'm not scared of the grass at all, just because you know that the bass could be tucked up in it or right next to it. So, you know, just pulling that grass on and off is just part of the game. Do not get scared of that grass or intimidated by it. I know taking that grass off can be aggravating, but hey man, the big fish are in there. So let's do it. Are you catching any? <laughs> so I told you he was right here. Boy, that wind, man. Golly, dude. Man, I just want that fish to come back, Eli. <laughs> Golly. They are finicky here, though. This is not one of those places that, um, don't experience pressure. This place definitely experiences a lot of pressure. We're just lucky to have this um, place to ourselves today. So I'm just gonna keep beating around the bank. There's a good amount of grass around it. So we know that we can snag about one or two bass around this bad boy. We're throwing like a bellows gill again on a nice little light weight. I do not peg my weights because I just don't like it going to the bottom, never have. And I think that's just kind of a bed fishing or a pitching thing. Um, when I'm not doing that, I always have that weight just doing his thing out there because I feel like that bait's gonna or that weight's gonna hit first then the bait comes right after. Looking a little bit more now. Oh my god. Let's see if that was a fish. Let's see, let's see. I think I had a bite, guys. I forgot what it felt like. <laughs> forgot what it felt like for a second. It's gotta be one. Oh, he caught one. Sheesh. Hell yeah. Nice low one. First one of the day, never hurt. Hell yeah, dude. Guys, so taking pictures of fish is really, really cool. Um, not against it in any way, shape, or form. You always gotta make sure you're dunking the fish back in the water. Number one priority is keeping these fish alive. You want them to repopulate, you want them to grow so you can catch that 10 pounder, so you can catch that next fish. Most important thing, make sure the fish is alive and always release them to where they can swim off. Until next time. Hell yeah, man, right here. Boom. You timed it? I literally watched the video. <laughs> That's the best. Alright, I'm behind you. Don't hit me now. Nice! Good job, big dog. I see. Yeah. We'll take them all shapes and sizes. Remember, a catch is a catch. Doesn't matter if you catch a minnow. You caught one. Yeah, I guess this little guy got bit by something, according to Palm Boys. Like a crane. <laughs> yeah, you gotta switch it up. All right, boys. Probably looks super dark right here, but. Time to look up another spot, man. Like I said, spot one was just, wasn't producing for me. It was producing for Colton, but not, not for the big dog. So we both need to produce some good fish, but I am glad that we did catch something here. So let's see what we can do. All right, boys and girls, we are at spot number two. I kind of just saw this one on the road and I decided, hey, we're gonna stop by and check it out. It does look fairly new. We don't know if there's any fish in here. The cool thing about it is that's what pond hopping is about, right? Just going from pond to pond, trying to figure something out on your legs and just trying to see what you can do. We were using Google Maps, we were using Fish Brain, and the service is just so terrible out here on the outskirts that I cannot get any service and I can't zoom in on the map. So we're just winging it right now. We're actually just rolling around to where we do have service and finding spots, guys. But that's what's gonna make today special. So hopefully we can capitalize on a bite. So we only got, what, two more hours to get some content and uh, we can see what we can do. Hopefully we get service a little bit later and we can find some of my honey holes on my maps, but I just haven't, you know, fished uh, on the bank in so long that I don't even remember where half my spots are, man. So 
Gonna keep looking, keep searching, and check out this spot for a little bit, and then head to a couple more spots. Let's do it. All right, boys, I am gonna test out this new rod we got here from Shields. It'll be real cool to catch my first fish on this bad boy today. I'm already liking how it feels. It doesn't feel too heavy in my hand. Ooh-wee! Yeah, I'm gonna catch them all, Bubba. Kind of hooked him straight through the top lip. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. Fish actually look really healthy. It does look like a fairly new spot. Houses look brand new. Um, I don't know. I've never been over here, but nice little fish. Nice little fish. Small fish is always better than no fish. Well, one at the new spot. Let's go for number two. That man Colton's smashing him at every spot, bro. This might just be Colton's show. <laughs> it's, just, it's too funny. I don't know if we've already talked about this, but Big Dog don't get even get out that much, man. He gets out like when I when I get him out or uh, when he has time, but usually it's just like when I can get him out. He's always working, so it was cool that he can come out today, but kind of salty that Big Dog getting on him like that, bro. Still, at the end of the day, it's just cool to get out with a buddy and you know go fishing and see what's really out there. But I do want to catch a fish, man. I cannot get skunk, bro. Cannot get skunk. What? What? Um. Homemade peach cobbler, basket of seasoned season fries, smoked turkey, collard greens, bro. She's not playing. Uh, I'll get that brisket and. The Yes. And then I'll get some uh, mac and cheese. Oh, shout out. Southern Gourmet Kitchen, bro. Yes. And they cater. Dude, I'm excited about the peach cobbler, bro. I haven't had peach cobbler since I was in Louisiana, bro. My yeah, grandma yeah. used to make it all the time. So this is just, this hits home, bro. This hits home. So we're going to see how it tastes. Uh, we don't really care about the fishing anymore, but not. <laughs> but there is a pond right behind us, so that's so cool that we can eat grub and go catch some fish, man. Eli, thanks for the spot. Yeah, I Let's got see you. if we can make something happen. So the thing with yo-yoing it is uh, sometimes you'll get the bite right when you're trying to like get that slack back, and then by the time you set the hook, he's already let it go. So that's kind of what happened there. I'm just dragging it off the bottom. He smacked it. I go to set the hook in. He was already off of it, but it's just a great way to slowly. Oh, there it is. I told you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super cool. He actually came back. Yeah, so just a great way to fish muddy water more effectively. So I'll run through that real quick with the chatterbait. Don't feel anything. I'll run right back there slower, dragging it across the bottom. And it seems like that got that done. So I didn't get skunk today, bro. <laughs> I did not. Oh, should have got a better release for you guys, but chocolate water. So crazy, man. We Texas got that insane storm and every juicy pond that had clear water turned into chocolate milk. <laughs> Doesn't mean that the bass aren't biting though. Let's see if there's any more in that area. That'd be really cool. Bro, you cast it right in front of me. <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> we literally cast it right on top of each other. That is so cool. Dang. Little tucks here, man. Absolutely smoked that Nico rig, man. Ned Rig. No. <laughs> Absolutely smoked that Nico Rig. Super cool. Colton actually cast it right next to us. And it's just crazy that I got that bite and he he did it, man. So super cool. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, there's no baby. No baby, baby. You can tell they're healthy though. They're literally just sitting on their beds. Hell yeah, dude. Cheers. Let's open it up, bro. Open it up. 
All right, we got the peach cobbler, bro. <laughs> Whoo, look at that, bro. Yeah, that, that's from Dallas, man. That's from Dallas. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. You see peach cobbler sometimes. You see barbecue. You see all this stuff, and you're like, eh. But I'm going to let you know. I know. I know barbecue. I know good food. And that is good peach cobbler right there. This might be Eli's. I, I can smell it. I think it's Eli's. Ooh, yeah, bro. That, that looks like it's about to smack, man. All right, last thing. Boom. Bro, look at that, son. God damn, bro. Yes, Sersky. I, I can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. After a long day of fishing, we don't even deserve this. Like, <laughs> we be honest with you, we don't deserve this, bro. We ain't catching nothing. We barely caught anything today, bro. Hey, still blessed. Thank you guys so much. Oh my God, I'm so full. But still blessed, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This food is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna leave all the information down below, but you can see the, you know, car right behind us. It's the Southern Gourmet Kitchen. We're gonna get out of here. Glad we caught some fish today. Big shout out to Colton, big shout out to Eli. You guys are awesome, man. Thank y'all for coming out with me and just making today even more special. Um, I was gonna go out on my own and just go on a solo adventure, but this all turned out to be an awesome day, man. We got food, we got lost, and we caught fish, guys. Love y'all so much. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, let us know what you think about this video down in the comments. Peace out, guys.